Welcome to DayZ on the PlayStation 4. Welcome to the Pavlovo military base. Forgive me for not doing a live stream. I wasn't sure I was going, if I was going to get this far tonight. Um, but I've been working my way along the south coast, far to the southwest of um, Generis. And I thought I would strike north. Um, I've actually got some quite. I've got a submachine gun. And I've got a very nice sniper rifle, a semi automatic. But I thought we'd take this opportunity to sneak into the military base at Pavlovo, mainly because we're only about half an hour after dawn. means that with a bit of luck there won't be players around here we can get in and get out I'd really like a new sort of backpack and some new trousers let's see what we can find really if any I haven't played Daisy for a number of days Just uh, keep our inventory light. Uh, I really, really enjoy this game. I spent earlier probably about, I don't know, 45 minutes wandering around in the dark with just the torch. Um, so much, so atmospheric this game. A stab vest. I don't know whether sta a stab vest is better than a salt vest. What does it say about a stab vest? Standard vest from police consists of several layers and capable of reducing the impact of knife attacks. Hmm. See, I don't see. Really, I guess you want you want a bulletproof vest, don't you? That's the thing to go for. So far, I haven't heard any zombies. The main threat in somewhere like this is, of course, other people, the most dangerous of foes. Now, there's some barracks up here. I thought I should probably just make my way to the go to these barracks here. Not like mess around. Because ideally we want to be in and out because you don't know how many people are um not quite sure what the word is, ghosting in this area or server hopping, you know. This isn't the barracks. Barracks is further up. Right, there we go, there's the barracks. It's this big main building here. I think this could be a hospital. a zombie. Ideally I'd like to avoid any complications with zombies. Let's get inside this barracks and have a look around. Ooh, utility buck pack. I think I can equip that. Yeah, that attaches onto my um, tactical.
tactical vest. Five, five, six rounds. I'm not going to worry too much about inventory management, to be honest, while we're doing this. It's all about getting in and getting out as quick as we can. And four butt stop flat. USG 45, that's what I've already got. SG5K mag, is that the... No, this is for a submachine gun. We're not going to take that. Box 308 wind rounds. We could take them. Okay. So what we do now is we go back the way we came. We head right, and there's another barracks up on the right. goodies in the guard towers. Right, let's get into cover. <laughs> it's quite a long road this before we hit the other barracks. It's a beautiful morning here in Chineris. Always very, very tense when you're in these places. Looks like the barracks here. Let's check it out. around here. Let's hear out this loads of 556. Five, it's got to be an M4 around here somewhere, isn't there? SG5K magazine, not interested. M4 rail handguard. Assault backpack, right, that's what we do want that. Let's 
equip that. Okay. Not exactly what we were looking for, but it's better than nothing. So now, if we head kind of south, or if we head west, cut through the forest and hit up another barracks. Let's get out of this let's get, let's get into the forest first. So we're gonna be going southwest, we're gonna be going this way. Right, here we go. gloves. Another road flare. We're going to have loads of these things. SG. Yes, I'm after the M4. Or the AK. Ooh, what's this? SK5966. Isn't that what I've already got? Yeah. Let's have a look at this one, though. Has it got any bullets in it? This one's damaged. What scope's it got on? The PU scope. Yeah. Okay. Right. So there should be. the watchtower to the south of west of where we are right now. Should be right there, All right there we are, there's the watchtower. for a submachine gun. Okay, let's head back to the road. Oh! We've just had a server shut down. Now, we can't leave our character there. That just wouldn't be right. It should be too dangerous when I spawn back in. So what we'll do... 
I'll join another server. We'll just move to a safe location. And then uh, we'll call it a day. Hopefully it will still be light. <sighs> but we have got enough road flares, haven't we? We've got dozens of road flares. Okay. So it's probably a good time to sort of spare. As I said earlier, I haven't played uh, Daisy for a number of days. But going back to it, I thoroughly enjoyed the atmosphere of this game. It feels amazing. And I know it's a pain when you have to play at night. But when you're in the dark and there's zombies creeping around and you're like, whoa, you've got to be really careful. You know, it's, it's like playing Resident Evil. Better than Resident Evil. Very, very good indeed. Very, very good indeed. Right, 50 seconds to go. Hopefully this will be... Uh, as I say... Hopefully this will be light. Um, so if you're thinking about getting DayZ on the PlayStation, Xbox, PC, and you enjoy this slow burn gameplay, where to be honest, you, if you don't want to get into gunfights or do anything like that, you don't have to, you can just wander around gearing yourself up, exploring the map. Um, for example, I think next, I might, shall I go up to Pavlovo? Is there a, is there a reason for me to go to Pavlovo. Hmm. Or should I head back down to the coast? Okay, great, it's night time. Uh, mm. The thing is, though, this is going to sound really crazy. But because we've just gone onto a different server. And it's night time. What will have probably happened? Yeah, look. Look <laughs> at this loot. SG5K, SG5K. There's a high probability that we're in a place where um, the loot will have respawned in. So it's actually worth risking it to go back and have a look to see. If any, any loot has... Because we're on a dip, What happens is in Daisy, when you play, you play on a server. And what happened to me then was the server shuts... Every now and again the server shut down. Um, and then the loot respawns. So look, yeah, that road flare. Patrol pants, ooh. Is that what I'm wearing at the moment? They're damaged. What condition are these in? Oh, they're damaged too, there's no point. Taking them. Stock, isn't it for KA? Hear a zombie outside. A submachine gun magazine. Five five six rounds. M four rail guard. Five five six rounds. <laughs> Tempt to me, aren't they? Magazine for a submachine gun. The magazine for a submachine gun. So now we've got to ask ourselves is it worth going back in and retracing our steps?
so from here we have to head north east Is that way there? See how atmospheric this game is. Amazing. zombies in the wood though so I need to be careful even if we do find an M4 if it hasn't got a magazine on we are going to be a bit stuffed ok we're coming up to the fence which means that once we get through this fence the barracks should be just across the road Excuse me. BDU plants, yeah we want those Ok, I can hear a zombie outside This the bra where's the barracks? That's the barracks there, I think. It's just the storeroom. Let's get over and see what we can find. Right, that's very useful. Combat helmet. That's what I've already got, I think. <laughs> Submachine gun. Magazine. P. 
pistol. Okay. So what we do now... So we come out of here. We go down this road. And then on our left... We'll hit that other barracks again. Right, this should be... Guard tower first, which there is. Look up here. Some machine gun stuff. Okay. So the barracks should just be across the road, just across here. field vest. What is a field vest? A fully adjustable vest has a number of pouches to hold everything sorted and needs to survive for days. Ah, so we can hold 30 things. Oh, it's no better than my assault vest, is it? me torch gun. I can hear a zombie outside. Holster. Can we now oh, we can equip that, can we? Where's it gone? that holster gun. Assault vest, city backpack, BDU jacket. Oh, right, you can attach it to the plate carrier vest. Okay, so let's get rid of that. Tactical goggles, they sound good. I've put them on already, haven't I? Yes. Spare compass. Pistol. Okay. So. What we do now is we head left. There are zombies right outside this door.
what we should do. If we So what we do now is we head right down this road here. No, these buildings aren't worth it, there's nothing here. Have a quick look in the guardhouse. Please check it. underneath there, can we? Can't fit underneath there either. Can we climb over this? Right, brilliant, we're underneath. So what we do now is we just head in this direction. And with a bit of luck, we're gonna... get to... the road. Once we get to the road, we know we're safe. Brilliant. Right, that's the road. So now all we do is we head South. God, I can't see a thing. It's too dark. south there. Yeah, so if we head south that can take us back towards uh, Kamenka and then we can move along the south coast. Um, well, I think that's probably what we'll do actually in the next videos. We'll move along the south coast with the idea of getting through Chernogosk and in fact probably look at circumnavigating the whole of the coastline of Chernogosk. Um, 
yeah, to see what we can find. But for now, what I'm going to do is pick up our torch. Let's just equip it. What we'll do, we'll just go into the woods here. Where it's safe. We'll sit down. Turn our flashlight off. And we'll exit. So there we go. A successful little mission. Into the uh, Pavlovolo military base. We didn't get a great kit. But we got a new backpack didn't we? Um, and we got lots of 556 five, bullets from when we do find an M4. Um, and we're, uh, look, we're fully equipped in camouflage gear. feel much more professional now. Anyway, this has been DayZ on the PlayStation 4. Um, if you enjoyed the video, hit like. If you want to see more of this, press subscribe. If you want to support the channel, press Patreon. If you've got any questions or comments, put them in the boxes down below. Thank you very much, and I will see you again soon.